everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 28th of december 2022 let's start with our session we guardian 2023 exercise is a maiden bilateral air exercise set to be held between india and which other country so indian air force and japanese air self defense force are set to held their maiden bilateral air exercise named as veer guardian 2023 okay and this exercise will be held at a particular air base in the country japan in the month of january 2023 so basically it aims to promote the mutual understanding and strengthen the defense cooperation between the air forces of japan and india fine so two things are important veer guardian is the exercise between which two countries india and japan and which country is the venue for this exercise for the year 2023 answer would be japan next is the national farmers day is observed to commemorate the birth anniversary of which particular leader so national farmers day is being observed on 23rd of december to commemorate the birth anniversary of the fifth prime minister of india choudhry charan singh and because of his contribution towards the upliftment of the farmers in the country right so various awareness campaigns and drives are organized across the country to educate the people about the role of farmers and their contributions to the economy right so your correct answer would be choudhry charan singh again two things are important the national farmers day is celebrated on which particular day answer would be 23rd of december and this is the birth anniversary of which important leader answer would be choudhry charan singh now few days back we have seen that the national mathematics day is observed on 22nd of december every year and this is the birth anniversary of legendary mathematician shrinivasa ramanujan okay so don't forget that next is which state has introduced a new startup policy 2022 to 27 so karnataka state government has introduced a new startup policy which aims to add around 10000 startups more in the state in the next 5 years okay and the new policy has been framed by the department of electronics and it and uh, as a part of the policy the state government will launch 100 crore rupees venture capital fund to support deep tech startups which are working in artificial intelligence and machine learning electric vehicle med tech robotics and drones etc fine so recently karnataka has introduced its new startup policy now apart from it the chief minister of tamil nadu state was that mr m k stalin has recently launched a mind health support forum at the government medical colleges why to offer counseling and support to the school students so a helpline number 14416 was also introduced to reach out to psychiatrist at the government medical colleges and in all these medical colleges the forum has been created to offer the programs to improve 
the mental health of the students and this program will be further extended to all the college and the schools okay so you can be asked that which state has launched a mind health support forum for the student answer would be tamil nadu state next is which indian scientist won the win future special prize 2022 this is an important question so indian scientist professor thalappil pradeep from iit madras received this win future special prize on 20th of december 2022 in hanoi okay and he was awarded for innovation of a low cost filtration system to remove arsenic and other heavy metals from the ground water okay and earlier he was conferred with the padma shri in honor of his work to develop affordable and the safe drinking water solutions using the nano materials fine so the winner of this particular prize is thalappil pradeep who is from iit madras next is which company signed the agreements to acquire metro cash and carry so reliance retail ventures has signed the agreement to acquire 100% equity in the metro ags metro cash and the carrier india okay for how much amount so this deal is worth 2850 crore rupees and reliance retail ventures limited is a subsidiary of reliance industries limited we know that and also we have to remember that metro india was the first company to introduce cash and carry business format in the country when it was launched in the year 2003 so currently it operates 31 large format stores across 21 cities fine so reliance retail ventures has signed the agreement and it is set to acquire the metro cash and carry fine now can you tell me what is the name given to a business with a value more than 10 billion dollars so this name is deca corn so basically deca corn is the name given to a business with value more than 10 billion dollars and what are the unicorns unicorns are the businesses with a value more than 1 billion dollars okay so recently what happened is the collective value of the indian premier league that is ipl is estimated to have gone up to 10.9 billion dollars and with this ipl has become a deca corn okay and media rights sponsorships ticket sale and various type of revenue are the contributors to this achievement fine so you have to remember that ipl has become a deca corn recently next is which country has announced to provide its key patriot missile defense system to the country ukraine so recently the us has announced that it would provide its key patriot missile defense system to the country ukraine and this system can be used as a shield against short range ballistic missiles not only ballistic missile but cruise missile also and uh, the incoming jets so this package also includes the military vehicles mortars ammunition for high mobility artillery rocket system okay so usa has announced to provide its key patriot system to the country ukraine now apart from it recently japan has adopted a new policy that promotes the greater use of the nuclear energy why to ensure a stable power supply amid global fuel shortages and also to reduce the carbon emission okay so this is seen as a major reversal of its phase out plan since the fukushima crisis and this new policy seeks to maximize the use of existing nuclear reactors by restarting many of them and also by prolonging the operating life of old reactors beyond their 60 year limit and by developing the next generation reactors to replace them etc fine so you can be asked that which country has adopted a new policy to promote the use of nuclear power so correct answer would be japan next is which song made in india has been shortlisted for the 2023 oscar awards in the best original song category so natu natu song from the blockbuster telugu film triple r 
has been shortlisted for the 2023 Oscar Awards in the Best Original Song category. Okay, and uh, a Gujarati film named as Chalo Show was also shortlisted in the Best International Feature Film category. Okay, and uh, Triple R was nominated in two categories basically. First is Best Picture in Non-English Language, and uh, second category is Original Song. motion picture in the golden globe awards 2023 fine so this song is natu natu next is which country passed the gender recognition reform bill and eased the sex change rules so the lawmakers from the country scotland passed a legislation which will make it easier for the transgender people to legally change their gender and the bill will gain royal assent which will lower the minimum age for those seeking the gender recognition certificate to 16 and also it drops the time required for an applicant to live in their acquired gender from 2 years to now 3 months fine so this country is scotland now 2 3 days back we have seen that the country spain has passed a law that allows the people who are above the age of 16 years to change their legally registered gender right so the people who are between 12 and 13 years of age they need the authorization of a judge to do so and the people who are between 14 and 16 they can change their gender by accompanying with their parents or the legal guardians okay and who are 16 plus they can do so without any medical supervision fine so this country is spain next is the text of united nations biodiversity pact which was released recently has how many action oriented global targets so after the kunming montreal global biodiversity framework by 196 parties was agreed at the 15th meeting of the conference of parties to the united nations convention on biological diversity the final text of the framework has been finally released and this framework includes four goals and 23 action oriented global targets for urgent action that are to be achieved by the year 2030 right and also it has four long term goals for 2050 which are related to the 2050 vision for bio diversity okay so this number is very very important answer would be 23 next is antim pangal who was seen in the news recently plays which sport so indian female wrestler antim pangal has been nominated for the honor of united world wrestling rising star of the year okay and in addition to antim pangal the five women across the world who were nominated for the award include first is nonoka ozaki from the country japan okay second is amit alor from the country us third name is ima malmgren from the country sweden and the fourth name is andrea ena from the country romania and the fifth name is antim pangal from india correct answer would be wrestling next is what is kalyani feresta which was launched recently this is an important question so recently union steel minister who's that jyotiradit skindia launched india's first green steel brand named as kalyani feresta and it has been manufactured by a pune based steel company kalyani group by using the renewable energy sources okay and recently the kalyani strategic systems backed an export order worth 155 million dollars for the artillery guns from another country fine so basically kalyani feresta is india's first green steel brand next is who is the only indian actor to be featured in the empire list of 50 greatest actors of all time so bollywood actor shahrukh khan 
has been featured in an international list of 50 greatest actors of all time which has been created by empire magazine okay and shahrukh khan is the only actor from india to be part of the list and this list basically referred to some of shahrukh khan's famous roles including devdas mukherjee from the movie devdas then rizwan khan from my name is khan movie then rahul khanna from kuch kuch hota hai and mohan bhargav from the movie swades this is not at all important okay only thing you have to remember is shahrukh khan is the only indian actor who has been featured in the empire list of 50 greatest actors of all the time so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll come to our revision section which three categories we are covering today first of all we'll see few championship related current affairs then at second we'll talk about important countries that were in news and at third we'll talk about important brand ambassadors fine let's start with the important championships which country is the fifa world cup champion in the year 2022 this is a 100 star question i must say so this year fifa world cup champion is the country argentina and argentina has won this cup by defeating the country france right and which was the host country for this event answer would be qatar who were crowned as the itf world champions for the year 2022 so this is rafael nadal and iga swiatek rafael nadal is from the country spain and iga swiatek is from the country poland right itf is international tennis federation and who's the current president of itf this is mr david hagati okay which Asian country is named as the host of 2023 IBA Women's World Boxing Championship? Answer would be India. And this is the third Women's World Championship which is to be conducted by India. Which Indian chess players won the Open and the Women's titles in the Asian Continental Chess Championship? So in this championship, the Open title was won by R. Pragnantha and the Women's title was won by PV Nandidha. Okay. And this championship took place at New Delhi. What is the position of India in the ISSF World Championships 2022 medal tally? So India was placed at second position in this with total 38 medals. And uh, the first country in this medal tally was the country China. Which country is the winner of the SAFF Women's Championship title in 2022? Answer would be Bangladesh and Bangladesh has won this title by defeating the country Nepal okay and what was the venue for this championship answer would be Kathmandu fine and also you have to remember that Bangladesh team captain Sabina Khatun was the top scorer of the tournament with total eight goals who is the first Indian to win four medals at the world wrestling championship this is very famous Bajrang Punya. Okay. And recently he won the bronze medal in men's 65 kgs category at the World Wrestling Championship. And the venue of the World Wrestling Championship was Belgrade, if you remember. Also, you have to remember that Vinesh Pogart has won the bronze medal in the women's 53 kgs category. Fine. Which country won the SAFF? under 17 championship title in 2022 so this championship title was won by india and we have won this by defeating the country nepal means you can say that nepal country was the runner up and in this sahil punia was given the best goalkeeper award okay can you tell me in this championship who was the most valuable player of the tournament do let me know in the comments which country is the champion of the 6th Asia Cup tournament held in 2022. This country is Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka has won this tournament by defeating the country Pakistan. Fine. So next we will be talking about important countries that were in news. As per a recent report by CoinSwitch, which Indian city leads the country with highest crypto adoption? This is New Delhi. Then at second there is Bangalore and third was Hyderabad. And if you talk about the tier two cities, then the topmost city was Jaipur. 
which neighboring country of India blacklisted as many as 16 Indian pharma companies. So the Nepal has blacklisted 16 Indian pharma companies. Why? Because according to Nepal, these companies fail to comply with World Health Organization's drug manufacturing standards. Okay. Which country is the host of special negotiation round on three of the four pillars of Indo-Pacific economic framework in February 2023 answer would be India okay and which are these four pillars first is trade second is supply chain third is tax and anti-corruption and the fourth pillar is clean energy and we are not a part of trade pillar okay Frank Benny Marama is the incumbent prime minister of which country so recently he became the incumbent prime minister of the country of Fiji because here the general elections ended without any clear majority. International Monetary Fund has approved program monitoring with board involvement for which country? So IMF has approved this program for the country Ukraine. Why? So that they can maintain their economic stability during the Russia-Ukraine war. Which country launched a biometric service in its airport? under which no passport or ticket will be required. This country is UAE and the passenger space will be their boarding pass. As per the speed test global index, which country had the highest media mobile download speed in the month of November? This country is Qatar. Okay. And in this India was ranked at 71st position and the country Chile has stopped in terms of highest fixed broadband download speed. Fine. Now, at last, we'll be talking about important brand ambassadors. Which Indian state has named Mr. Prasoon Joshi as its brand ambassador? So recently, Prasoon Joshi became the brand ambassador of Uttarakhand state government. Who has been named as the national ambassador for TV Mukt Bharat campaign? This is Deepa Malik. Which Indian sports person has been appointed as the friendship ambassador by the Switzerland tourism? So Switzerland Tourism has appointed Neera Chopra as the Friendship Ambassador. Climate activist Vanessa Nakate was appointed as UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador is from which country? So recently she became the UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and she is from the country Uganda. Which Indian personality has been signed on as the Brand Ambassador of Garud Aerospace? Answer would be MS Dhoni. Naveen Srivastav has been appointed as the ambassador to which country? Recently, Naveen Srivastav became the ambassador to the country Nepal. Who became the first Indian brand ambassador of the luxury label Louis Vuitton? So recently, Deepika Padukone became the first Indian brand ambassador of this luxury label Louis Vuitton. This cricketer has been appointed as the brand ambassador for Karnataka Brain Health Initiative. Answer would be cricketer Robin Uthappa. Fine. So these are the few brand ambassadors that we have to remember and revise them time to time. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Sana signing off.